that thing is doing work. It's like, it's like makes sawdust out of, just fucking rips it up. <laughs> we'll make that axe handle in no time. Dude, who needs a draw knife when you got a puko? Dude, let me see that piece of wood. Holy crap, I'm gonna get a handle in no time, man. Nice. Just rips through that. Yeah, what do you think of that M4 steel, man? It's kind of crazy. What's that piece that you have in your right hand? Show people what you're doing there with that. For Puko making an axe handle, practice axe handle for this double bit, just practice using some M4 steel. There in no time. See that handle, dude. God damn it, dude. It's just so. <laughs> so easy. You just make a nicer handle, you bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it cuts with more less effort than the L Max. Yeah. God damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is much better than the L Max. It's better. That's right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> oh. Yeah, it's just so much easier. It just powers through when you when you put power behind it. And yeah, the handle's really coming along, man. Jeez. Here, fix mine, dude. Here. Let's <laughs> go pass mine over to you. <laughs> Could help you stand you, man. You're your barbarian Perfect. club. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to find a wife with me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk mess about my handle. Look, I gave you the best piece of wood, man. Mine's all covered in knots. Yeah, it is, actually. You can see that it took great skill to carve it down to that shape now. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since I let you have the, uh, the M4. Yeah, the M4. It is, it is, it is the best. Uh, switch over, switch to the silver steel, sir. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. 
Are you deaf? Here, switch to the silver steel, you greedy what? bastard. What? <laughs> there you go. Oh, give me that precious. Ooh. There we go. There you go. Yeah. God, that knife is so beautiful. Yeah, how dare I put my fingerprints on it? Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> most expensive, prettiest thing I own. What do you think? It doesn't push through like the M4, you know, like you can, you can just keep just pushing down, but this stops right there. Oh! Uh, I mean, there's a knot there. Switch but... it, here. Let's power through with the M4. Yeah, so same spot. Just... <laughs> oh, just Jesus, that no was problem. right through that knot too, huh? Yeah, no problem. You know, out of the way. Just, just doesn't stop. <laughs> bigger shavings. All right, make my handle all nice, man. <laughs> oh, you just, you just dug deep. <laughs> Fucking M4, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it's not my fault. <laughs> So we just got done carving these wood handles. What did you uh, What did you think? What was the top performing knife? Uh, the M4 definitely uh, takes the cake for uh, the penetration power. Really cuts through the knots. Really takes off material. But uh, yeah, the the L Max is a close second. The L Max Puko. Max this one right second. here, right? The second place. It's also kind of... Why did you like that one so much? It's nicer for the finishing stuff because it doesn't bite so deep. The, the M4 really wants to just really take a big chunk out of it, whereas the... Uh, or not the LMAX, the M4 really wants to take a big bite out of the soft pine, but the, yeah. but the uh, LMAX seems to, uh, I mean, it's, it's not as fun for the roughing, but it's much better for, uh, much better for just kind of the last finishing work, the little precise stuff, but you know, the M4 does, does that well, as well, I mean. What'd you think of... This one, the 52100. It's just not as a, uh, not as nice to use. Yeah. Not as nice to use. The just doesn't take off long ribbons of a, uh, of steel like the Elmax or the steel. Or nice long ribbons of wood like the Elmax or the M4. This will, uh, this will get stuck in the wood where the Elmax will just put or the uh, M4 will just push through. What nice. did you think of this one? This is the uh, Hella Viking. I want to like this one. I want to like this one, but I don't think the geometry is there. It just can't compete with the with, with the, the higher. Yeah, with the thinner, the higher grinds, the the thinner pucos. Just too thick, huh? Yeah, I want to like this knife, but uh, it just doesn't compete. What did you think of this one, the Mora? The Mora's surprisingly good, right? The, the performance is there, and the price is just unbeatable. Uh, I mean, you can you can definitely pay more to get more of the performance. The L Max and the M4 definitely blow this out of the water, but for for just value. Can, you just can't beat these knives. It's amazing. The they cut really well just because they're so thin. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Now, last knife. What'd you think of uh, the Pekka? As far as the uh, statics of it. 
<laughs> it's uh it's I don't know the uh the uh the the mirror finish on the knife is really really pretty but uh just function oh and the the grip the grip is really nice the birch the bark not the birch bark the shape the shape is what i find yeah i like good. that teardrop yeah the, sh the shape it's not just the teardrop just like the thinness the this this knife probably has the thinnest handle out of all of all of these other knives I'm not a real fan of the birch bark. I personally prefer. What? You're not a fan of the birch bark, dude? I, I prefer the micarta. No. I prefer the micarta. The, the longevity, just the low maintenance. You know, just it. This is definitely going to get stained over time, darken. You know, with use. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I had to you put know. some linseed oil on there to help yeah, with the I mean, the hand dirt from yeah, using. I mean. You know, you can see, I remember this used to be much more lighter color, much more like kind of like golden. It would pop more. It was closer to a white color. But, uh, I mean, uh, what would you, the, would you think of the performance of the, uh, the silver steel, the Pekka? Kind of tough to judge since it's thicker, right? It's about five mil. The other ones, the Daniel knives are about. about I'm going to withhold my judgment because it's just. I don't think that this is as sharp as it could be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I need to get that thing on some stonage. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm just going to withhold my judgment just because, you know, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of stuck kind of, you know, in the 52-100 realm, but maybe even a little worse, it, you know, it really just gets stuck in the wood. Yeah. It really just gets stuck in the wood. It, it, it wants, it starts carving and then it, you know, and then you, you stop and then you can just switch knives, go straight to the M4 and just push straight through. There it goes. What I've done today, basically uh, practice carving. You can see this big pile of wood right here. This is about as far as I got for today and tried to do a double bit handle. Made this horrible abomination, but it was actually a pleasure to do. It's just my skill is just really bad. I don't know how often people still carve axe handles. It's kind of a short handle too, but it's work in progress. The more I do it, I figure the uh, better to practice. Soft pine wood, it's not too big of a deal to carve either. But uh, as far as these knives, I mean, I got all of my Pucos out here. And definitely what me and my buddy noticed is that the M4, it just cut the best out of all the different ones. And it did definitely, uh, it looked like it definitely did have some damage at the edge, but I was just surprised and the fact that it kept cutting. Even the paper, stuff like that, it would still shave hair versus a lot of other knives that would take that kind of damage, which is simply just be blunt and dull. I mean, definitely you're not gonna have miracle steel. Everything is just matter acting on matter, so you're definitely gonna have some kind of damage somehow. But we could see here, I've still got another piece of this white pine two by four, and still just able to just cut it like a beast. I mean, you can see just the huge chunks in that. I mean, it's just awesome. So definitely the M4 was the top performing knife. The runner up actually, out of all these knives, it wasn't my expensive uh, Pekka Tuolumin, which we'll talk about in just a bit. But actually, it was the, uh, prototype LMAX knife was the second runner-up and it had definitely uh, definitely performed very very good very similar to the M4 and you can see right here also able to get some nice <laughs> nice bite inside the 2x4 and it also the edge definitely broke down just like the M4 but that breakdown would also just help it seem to cut just tremendously good I mean just really able to shred through that freaking 2x4 so I mean LMAX did great I mean definitely doesn't have the stability of the M4 but the LMAX was definitely the second best uh, had a traditional uh, this is what everybody thinks of when they think of a Scandi knife just a, a normal kind of flat bevel right there low actually performed probably one of the worst uh, it was just too thick uh, it would seem to just get stuck 
in the wood wouldn't necessarily make the as big of the chips you can see what I'm saying right there I just get stuck in the wood we noticed when we were carving these handles so definitely the the least performing knife next runner up again not the Pekka it was the uh, 52 100 and, and you know it, it would carve good but it just didn't have that just raw aggressiveness that the LMAX and M4 had but it's definitely a good performer lastly just the Pekka and I think I just need to go through and sharpen this thing up on some water stones it's definitely the thicker of all the Pucos this one's about five mil those ones are about four mil thick at the rhomboid but yeah definitely uh, I mean it's a sweet knife it's definitely my most beautiful knife but uh, the other knives just perform better so I thought that was interesting and I did do a lot of a lot of carving with it I mean it's definitely no slouch but I was using this one for a bit doing some carving and then I would switch over to something like the M4 and the difference was just dramatic <laughs> just I mean you could just see for yourself you don't have to take my word for it it just carves more aggressively than the P.E.K.K.A. it takes more force and it just gets more stuck in the wood versus the M4 there you go alright that's all I got later guys